Hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here and tonight I want to talk about detox and if detox really may be part one, the biggest step that you're missing in your weight loss transformation that's keeping you from really keeping the right results for you. Oftentimes, this is one of the first things I focus on for women because it is so powerful and it has to be done in terms of getting the right result and keeping the right result for the female body. Now again, I'm a women's health expert. I focus on nutrition for women and hormones. So I'm really speaking to the female body when I talk about detox, when I talk about how this type of physiology works. So keep that in mind because what I talk about oftentimes is really different than what you've heard before, but that's because all the information, all the research, everything else is done on men. <laughs> so oh, let's dive in. Detox. Um, this is something also a lot of people are like, well, my body detoxes all the time. It's meant to. Uh, I shouldn't have to go through a detox. La la la. That's a bunch of baloney. <sighs> okay. Yes, your body is supposed to detox. There's certain mechanisms. Your liver, in fact, is a detoxing organ. Whole thing. Designed to de uh, detox. <laughs> That's awesome. However, if you are nutrient depleted, stressed out, not sleeping enough, trauma, injury, sickness, any of these things, have hormonal imbalance. If you've had kids even, this can throw this off, where your system does not function at 100% on all these levels. There are some women who even have autoimmune issues. Um, in fact, women are more likely to have autoimmune issues than men are and are more than likely to go more than seven years without being properly diagnosed with said autoimmune <laughs> issues. Um, it could be anything, uh, thyroid, um, you know, Lyme, anything like that, right? That's going to hinder your body's ability to do the detox it's supposed to do, right? So yes, our bodies are supposed to detox, but there's a lot of times that our systems really, really struggle with it and aren't doing the way that it should. In a perfect world, yes, your body would just do all the detox things it's supposed to. But when it doesn't, uh, we end up with some hormone issues, right? And then we end up with weight that we can't lose. So we all focus on the weight, right? And we're told, oh my gosh, if you lost weight, you'd feel better, right? The, all the problems you're having is because you're overweight. When really the weight is a protective mechanism for the female body, that that's what th your body thinks it's helping, but you're not going to be able to lose the weight and keep it off unless you go through this detox. And this sometimes is a bear to get through. Yeah, so how do you know if you need to detox? Sometimes it's symptoms, you know, fatigue, sluggishness, weight, weight gain, you can't lose the weight, all that stuff, right? But um, I'm gonna put a link here in the comments before I forget, because I'm gonna get chatty on this. I could talk about detoxing for women for hours. And sometimes I do. But in the comments, there's a link to get on the wait list for the next 12 week challenge. So if you're wondering if this is you, if you're wondering if this is a step you need to take for your body, your hormones and everything else, go in the comments, click on the wait list and get on the wait list for the next 12 week challenge because this is something I tweak and tailor for every single person that needs to go through it. A lot of times women who have tried oh, healthy eating plans and working out with a trainer, I'm working with a nutritionist, da, 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 da. great. All those things are great things to do. But if it's not giving you the right result, it's not the right thing for your body because there's something else going on that's being missed. And oftentimes it's this. I'll explain what this exact process is. I'm sure you can kind of see from the lovely art I drew <laughs> exactly what goes on here. But the image that I like to talk to women about is the weight loss journey in general should be like a trail through the woods, right? Like there's a trail like through the woods here. Okay, this is a trail through the woods. Everybody, right, there's a nice tree here. These are trees. Told you, art, I mean, come on. You know, oh, I'm going on my trail, I'm going on my weight loss journey. Oh, look, this is really good. Oh, this was not good. Oh, look, here we go again. But you overall know that you're making progress on your weight loss journey. That's a normal trail, right? Here's the starting line on this trail. And if you need to go through a detox, you may feel like, gosh, everybody else is on this trail and I'm not on the trail. Yeah. Because there's this huge swamp of sludge that you gotta go through first to get to that start. That swampy sludge 
is what your body needs to detox before you can get to that starting line. And so many women just try and like sneak around it, go around it. And these aren't, it's not your fault, right? It's not like you're like, oh, I'm gonna try and cheat the system and like walk around it and ignore that this whole big swamp is here. I'm just gonna get to the start and here we go. No, you have to go through this process. What is this swamp that I call it, right? This is a good visual that you can think about. I gotta go through this swamp, detox my system, and then my body will work better and function better on this weight loss journey. Yes. Here is the swamp that you have to go through. The thing about this is that our fat cells are really dynamic. Fun side note, fun side note. I don't think I've ever mentioned this before or said this before <laughs> in any of my videos. So if you're an avid watcher of my videos and you're like, Oh man, uh, my book, The Female Fat Solution, is all about nutrition that matches the hormones and your cycle and everything else. And I talk a lot about nutrition for different women, um, you know, estrogen, progesterone, as well as when you're going through perimenopause and menopause in here. When I first started writing this, I had, I think it was like 40 or 50 pages on fat cells. And my editor was like, no, no one will read this. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> I just went on. Because fat cells are really fascinating. Very, very dynamic, very protective for the body. And a lot of us just think of them like terrible things. Like, I don't want them. Well, guess what? You have them and they can be helpful to you. And a lot of times they're trying, they're just not communicating correctly. And they're thinking that you want one thing. And so they're doing that thing, but yet you're telling them the opposite and they don't know it. That's what fat cells are doing in your system because you're in the sludge, right? How do you get through the sludge? The detox. Fat cells. Normally, if you in a healthy um, body where somebody's like, oh yes, this is a healthy BMI, etc., fat cells are gonna be like flat little pancakes, like deflated balloons. When you have a lot of excess hormone in the body, and this is true of any other toxins, heavy metals, things like that, gunk, they go within the fat cell and it gets stored in there with energy, with sugars and it gets stored in the fat cell and it blows up like a balloon. Now your fat cell will stay like that because there's other things in there. So it's gonna be especially in the female body, your system will not burn that fat cell. It won't burn the energy in that fat cell, right? By the way, when we say burn fat, like the fat t cell itself doesn't go anywhere, it's the energy inside it that's getting burned. So when you say you want to burn more fat, it's not gonna do it if your fat cells are like this. It's gonna actually target your muscle tissue and use your muscle tissue for energy. When your muscle tissue goes down, then your system slows down and your metabolism slows down. Yeah, that's not good. That's not good at all. That's not what we want. That's not gonna, that's not gonna help us get energy, right? So this is where we feel all that fatigue Oh, I'm feeling fatigue. I'm feeling this brain fog. I'm just feeling sludge. My period's all messed up. I'm having these hot flashes and I can't lose weight to save my life. Like I can't lose weight. Like it's not happening. I'm eating 1200 calories a day and working out and nothing's changing. This is what's happening for you. This exactly right here. So in order to really get this to turn around, you have to focus on doing a detox that releases this. Also fun things about fat cells, again, this is something that I really wanted to talk about for like pages and pages in my book. <laughs> fat cells are so dynamic and interesting. They're doing this to protect your body and your system. They're storing this excess, you know, all this excess in these fat cells. Yeah. But then, but then because these fat cells are bigger, they actually change in function and these can actually make more estrogen. So now they're making more estrogen, which means they're gonna store more estrogen. And then more cells get recruited and then they tell two friends and they tell two friends and everyone's doing it, making and storing more estrogen, which leads to estrogen dominance. Uh, yeah, that's exactly what happens for a lot of women that have these hormonal issues. So how do you reverse it? How do you get back up here? It's going through that detox. When I take someone through a detox within the 12 week challenge, Oftentimes it's really focusing on getting your liver to process and metabolize these hormones and forcing your system to target these fat cells for energy. There's a physiological way that we get the body to that. I have talked about that in other videos. I don't wanna spend a ton of time on that right now. So if you wanna know that, my YouTube channel is Dr. Beth Westy. 
subscribe to that. Tons of videos on that stuff here. But this really breaks down why you really need to go through a detox because I've had a lot of questions on that. Like, do I, do I really need to do this? Is this super necessary? Why can't I just do all these really fun tactics here? Why can't I just do the fancy, fancy things here that everyone else is doing that cause them to get a result? Because you have a different body than they do. You have a lot of this going on. And they just have that. They don't have the things, right? You have a different system, you have a different body, and that needs something custom for you. The more custom you can make your protocol, the faster you're gonna get results. The longer you're gonna keep them. Most of the time we're trying to find something that works for everybody when really what we need is something that's custom for us. So that's what we do in the 12 week challenge. So again, in the comments, click the link, get on the wait list for the 12 week challenge. We are starting our next one in April and I, it's probably gonna fill up. I can only take so many women because I do work with them one on one to make sure you are getting and keeping the right results along the way. But if you have not been through a hormone detox, if you did not know that fat cells can actually make more estrogen, this is something that you're going to probably need to do for yourself because also walking through that swamp can be tough. Walking through that swamp to get to that starting line. Once we're at the starting line, then we get to do all the fun, really cool things. I mean, this is cool too. I, <laughs> everybody wants to do a detox. I don't think so. We all want to have done it. We want to have it done. How much fun is walking through a swamp? It's not fun. No, <laughs> but that's essentially what it is. So your body, estrogens, progesterones, cortisols. Um, I want to do a separate video talking about cortisol and how the fat cells also react to cortisol because if you have a lot of stress, if you find yourself being really exhausted, your adrenals can work so hard to produce more cortisol that your fat cells just suck up and take over again. So essentially your, your adrenals then run out. Like this is where you just crash in the afternoon, evening, and you've got no energy, right? Part of this is gonna be rebuilding the system back up and then on the other part, you still have to go through a detox to reset these, horm these hormones and these fat cells. So, yes, that's what I got for you guys tonight. Hopefully this kind of explains a little bit and answers some of the questions I've gotten recently um, because this is a really essential vital part and necessary to get the right results. So if you've tried, if you've been working with a trainer for a year and not gotten a result, this is probably what you need to do. If you've been working with a dietitian or nutritionist, great. But again, if you've not done a detox specifically focused on these hormones and you're having these hormonal issues, then I don't care how many times you go through a healthy meal plan, it's not gonna matter unless you reset your hormones. So have a great rest of your night, you guys. Ooh, I also have um, some podcast episodes coming out about some of this stuff and the mindset it takes to go through this properly. My podcast is called The Female Health Solution. So subscribe to that so you stay updated on all my podcasts coming out because that's super fun too. But all right, that's what I got for you. It's not fun to talk about. It's not fun to go through. So effective and honestly life-changing when you get this under your belt, when you get beyond the swamp. So I'll see you guys later.